Welcome back to our celebrity suites. I'm Ethan, and today we're doing another country-inspired video. So like, yeehaw! Now I don't do country music that much on the channel, just because I personally don't listen to it as much. However, if there's an audience for it, I'm down to do it, and that's kind of the case with today's video because. I don't know everyone in the country music world, however, I do know Blake Shelton, big name in the country music world, yes. And today's theme is God's Country, which I actually heard on like the normal pop radio or today's hits radio. And so far today, we're going to be making a God's Country inspired treat. I wanted to do something kind of with the outdoors because it's God's Country. So we're going to be making some layered s'mores pudding cups. And the ingredients for this, that's a horrible country accent. How did I do? And the ingredients for this recipe are <laughs> chocolate pudding, caramel pudding, graham crackers, mini marshmallows, and chocolate chips. To begin this recipe, I want to start with our chocolate pudding. Again, we're going for a s'mores theme because I thought like the outdoors and God's country. I'm now going to take some of our pudding and start scooping it into our glasses. After you have like one layer of your pudding, now we can start to like s'moresify this. I know that's not a word, but it sounds cool. I've got chocolate chips, marshmallows, and graham crackers. Obviously all the things from a s'more. I'm going to begin with our graham crackers. If you want to get really adventurous, um, you can click up right up here and watch me make homemade s'mores. That was a fun video. For Father's Day. In God's country. Since graham crackers are like a big part of this more, I definitely want to taste it, but I don't want too much, and we're going to add more as we work our way up to the top. So I'm just going to kind of just crumble and break up a graham cracker onto this layer. In God's country. <laughs> it's funny to say that. Technically, I don't really know what comes first. If you put marshmallows onto this more and then chocolate, but I think you put chocolate down. This could be the top or the bottom, however you want to do it. I'm going to do the chocolate chips. And we'll round off this layer with our marshmallows, sprinkling those mini guys right on top. It's time for layer two, which is going to be our caramel pudding. Now, I know caramel really doesn't go in a s'more. I mean, it could, but I did want to add a second layer of color, and caramel felt like it would fit the theme here. Just like before, I'll scoop in a few spoonfuls of caramel pudding into our glass. Oh, and I like to give them a little bit of like a, a shake. A little jiggle and just to make sure everything kind of starts to settle just like with s'more just like with s'more just like with s'more just like before we can start to add on our s'mores s'mores if i add up a little bit i'm gonna add on our graham crackers i just don't retain country songs like the names of them i think that's my problem and i want to say old town road but it's probably not a good enough answer Top it with our chocolate chips, and finish it off with our mini marshmallows. Is there a general term for country fan? So I can address you all as one. Just like apologize, say I don't know much, but I'm trying. I guess it's not really a name for pop fans or rap fans. Just pop fans or rap fans. So country fans, country fans. To top off our pudding cups, I'm gonna finish it with more chocolate pudding. We've filled and stacked our pudding cups, and now I kind of just want to round it out on the top. I always theme our country treats towards the desert, but that's like the country. Kinda. Kinda. The country kinda. I'm going to start by crushing up more graham crackers on the top of this layer. My intent for this is that this will kind of represent sand or like the desert. I also have this really cool kind of like cactus mold, and I filled that with candy melts green of course to fit our cactus theme and i'm just going to stick these on top of our pudding cups and to signify that this is kind of a s'mores treat if you couldn't tell already i do want to top it with a little bit of marshmallows and some chocolate chips this could maybe be like rocks or something in the desert maybe they could be little quails i love quails of course i'm just kind of nicely and neatly placing these you could just sprinkle them on top. And again, I'll do the same thing with our marshmallows. These could act as, what are those things that I love? Tumbleweeds? I just don't know a lot about the desert either. My forte is not the desert. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bring the treats back. That's right. 
Here we have them, our God's Country inspired s'mores pudding cups that we made today. Again, taking inspiration from God's Country, which I think is like the desert, might just be America. Getting really bad with this kind of stuff, however, this is amazing, I can tell you that. It's a s'mores pudding cup, like, perfect for the outdoors, like, next to a campfire, yes. Or just enjoying it in God's Country. If you happen to make this, please share with me on Instagram or Twitter. And if you have any other requests for our celebrity sweets, leave those down in the comments below as well. Also, don't forget to share this video and subscribe. And until next time, stay for life and make it sweet. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button down below. And while you're at it, subscribe. You can do that by clicking this cute little donut right here. If you're looking for more content, up here's my latest video. And down here's what YouTube thinks you should watch. That's all for today. I'll see you guys in the next video.